Hello, let's do some case study or case study about stock option. Let's go to Google Collab. So, uh, Google Collab, collab.research.google.com slash hashtag create equal new. And then file name is stock option um, case study class. Okay. And then let's import uh, usual modules and libraries. And then so import numpy as np. And then import pandas as pd. Next, uh, scipy from scipy import optimize. We need optimize. And then uh, tabulation from tabulate import tabulate good next let's determine the stock price stock price let's say stock price is one so it's like a normalized stock price so it is normalized so once we calculate stock option value the value is basically a percentage of stock price. So if our stock option price is 0 0.5, it means uh, stock option price is 50% of stock price, current stock price. Normalized current stock price. And then dividend yield. And your dividend yield, let's say dividend yield is simply zero. So this, oh, so this is annualized dividend yield. Next, uh, sigma, the most important volatility. Sigma, volatility is Um, arbitrary one, annualized volatility of the stock price, stock return. Okay. And then strike price, strike price equal, let's say it is one. So it is strike price. And indeed, in many cases, in many cases, stock options, strike price is basically same to, in many cases, uh, strike price the same to stock price. So in this case, without loss of generality, I set it one. So same to stock price. Next, maturity. Let's say seven years. It is maturity, maturity of the stock option, above stock option. Stock option, year. And then small t, let's say small t is three. This is vesting period. Vesting period means it is maturity is seven years. So from today, from the day of issuance or zero, time zero today to the next three years, holder of the stock option cannot exercise the option, okay? And from three to seven years, from three to seven years, the option holder can exercise the stock option anytime. So it is American. So from zero to T, it is like European. And then from small T to big T, it is like American option. So usually in stock option, we have a vesting period to lock up the employee. 
if employee can access the option right away, they will exercise the option and run to other company. That is not desirable. So if we want to keep an employee at least three years in this case, three years, then the employee cannot exercise the option for the next three years and they have to work in the company. And after three years, from three years to seven years, now the employee can exercise the stock option and then leave the company potentially. And then DT, let's say one over 12. It is like, uh, it is a time step, time step. Okay, so per period, per period. So in this case, it is like months. One over 12, it is months. One over 12 year, so it is basically months. So we model the monthly movement of the uh, stock price, basically. And the next time step. So time step, since we are we have seven years of maturity, and then we have like DT, uh, monthly, so we have 87 multiplied by 12. So we have 84 months to the maturity. It is the time step. Okay, this is time step. So this is the, but we want to make it integer. So int. Mm -hmm. So it is maturity in terms of dt, okay? So 84 here. And then now, okay? Next, let us import, let us import uh, yield curve, yield curve. So to get the yield curve, we can visit in kind of yield curve. So we will use we will use a yield curve on yield curve on Korea Treasury bond whose data is at HTTP and then I think it is Kofia bond www.kofiabond.org.kr or some care, okay? Here, we can go home, home, and then we can go market value, and then we can visit, uh, um, yeah, a bond value menu, something like this. So let's visit here. Okay, coffee bond. So here, so we have market value, this one. So the most least one is this one. Let's have it. So we have up to seven years. So, well, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, so let's copy and paste this one. Oops, copy and paste this one. Copy and paste this one. And then, and then paste over here. Wow, this is the, it is nasty. <laughs> so instead of this one, let's copy and paste this one to the Excel. So let me open Excel. Hmm. So let me open Excel file. And then, okay, let me share the Excel file now. Let me share the Excel file. Okay, we are sharing the Excel file. And then, yeah, I just paste the data. And then I copy, I copy. And then 
transport, transport, okay, transport, and then three months is basically 0 0.25 year, six months is 0 0.5, nine months is 0 0.75, and in one year, one point half year, two year, two point half year, three years, four years, five years, seven years, 10, 15, 20, 30, and 50, okay? And then, yes, and then uh, we want to make, you want to read it as an array. So what we can do is, let's be smart, so equal, this one, and then this value, and then and comma, and, and, oops, just a moment, and I add this value, okay. And then, and this one, comma. Okay, so we have something like this. Okay, I need a comma over here. Okay, and then we need up to seven years. And then I copy and I paste it to here. I paste it. This one, I paste it to our Python code. And then let's go to Python code again. Yes, I paste it over here. Okay. And then, yeah. And then, um, Let's make a file name. File name is tmp1 equals np array. Okay, np array. And then, okay, to the array. And then let me online. Online, online. It is not necessary, but it looks much prettier. So let me online. And then close it. Okay, and then TMP1. Okay, so yeah. I imported the data, yield curve data. Okay, good. So far, so good. And then, yeah, the first one is the maturity. The first try is maturity. So basically, maturity, maturity is the TMP one of the first column is the maturity, right? Maturity. And then YTM of the Korea Treasury bond is basically a second column. Okay, second column. And then let me make a data frame, data frame such that, data frame such that, well, um, df1 equal pd, pd, data frame, okay, PD data frame. And then data, data equals, data equal, uh, 
Today is 2021 of the 17. And then for this column name, I use YTM. Okay. Okay, YTM. And then index set, uh, set index is maturity is index. And then let me print DF1. So that let me check whether I properly made it pandas data frame. So, well, it looks fine. Oh, by the way, it is like a percent. So I have to divide it by 100. So we have YTM here. Let me divide, multiply this one by 0 0.11. So, and let's do it again. Okay, then, yeah, it works, it is fine. 